I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I coach people and I run a group on Facebook called Career Angles. And here, I want to talk with you about speaking up. And speaking up when I first thought of it was about speaking up in your work and not just accepting things at face value, but asking the questions that are necessary to understand and to have things make sense. But I started to think back about speaking up in a different way. And that's with regard to bias. And I'll just share a story from my own career and how hard it was and how much I faced something that was difficult. I wasn't the victim here, someone else was, but I was present during the time this small business owner said, some, said something that was absolutely horrific and uh, bigoted while a black woman was standing right behind him, someone who'd worked for him for years, who had spent a lot of time in supporting this business owner. And I saw the look on her face as she was cut to the quick. And I spoke up. And I spoke up at that time um, against what this business owner had said. He wound up being sued by her. I was a ready witness. And I must tell you, there are times where it's so appropriate to speak up in so many different contexts for yourself, to advocate for yourself instead of being quiet, but more important, to advocate for others. Now, as I'm starting to get older, I'm starting to notice how ageism shows up in so many different ways. And the more I read, the more I notice that those bastions of quote unquote progressive culture are often at the forefront of bias, bias against those who are older. And there are times in government service where individuals are being forced into retirement, ostensibly to save some money, but against their will. I just read a, an article uh, in a, a publication, talked about two cases that were being fought currently, one at a university, one with a, um, a fire department where people were being forced out for no more reason than they were older. Now, again, some may say, well, they were more expensive, we're trying to save money, but their performance had been good, no issues whatsoever. Bias in its many forms is gonna come back and haunt people. I have learned in my life that some of my own opinions, some of the things I've said, were dead, dead out wrong. Uh, you know, it's particularly about older individuals. I just want you to become more aware of some of the little remarks that are said uh, and to speak up. Speak up against the management that sometimes says something that can come back and haunt them. You know, for example, a senior manager says something disparaging about an older worker, uh, describing them in a particular way. And you have to pause for a second and go, time out. <laughs> Let's not make this a question of age. Or they make a disparaging comment about a person who's not of the same national origin. Time out. Do you really want to say that? And call them on it. Nothing more very, very simple. It's interrupting the pattern of behavior that causes people to say despicable and asinine things. No one wants to be on the receiving end of these remarks, right? As such, no one wants to be on the delivery part of these remarks. For you as an employee of an organization, for you looking at your career, being a backer, being an ally for people of diverse groups will serve you if you're not a member of that group. Being an advocate for others will serve you in more ways than you can imagine. Just take the time. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. If you're interested in my coaching, you, you can reach out to me at uh, actually, probably the best way is on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw this video because I just like knowing I'm helping some folks. Once we're connected, let's set up a time for a free discovery call. Message me. Let's do that. Hope you have a great day. Take care.